Hi Libra, how's it going? Uh, this is your bonus tarot reading for this month. We'll have three separate spreads in this reading. In the first spread we'll be looking at what you urgently need to know right now and uh, it could be about pretty much anything, whatever comes up. Then in the second, the device spread, we'll see what's recommended for you in this situation. And uh, the last, uh, the third spread will be the next good thing that will happen to you in the near future. Please like, comment and subscribe to support this channel. So here's what you urgently need to know right now, Libra. We have the Nine of Pentacles, clarified by the Sun. We have the Ten of Pentacles, clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the High Priestess and the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo, maybe an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe water. But uh, I think you got money coming in. <laughs> I think this spread is about money. All right, uh, definitely. We have a lot of money cards on the table. The Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, I think that's what's coming in. And we actually start with the Nine of Pentacles, which is clarified by the Sun. And we have the Ten of Pentacles kind of in the middle. You know, all those three cards could be interpreted as financial cards. So yes, the Knight of Pentacles is the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. Maybe you're becoming a secret millionaire or a secret billionaire. <laughs> I'm talking about secrets because the High Priestess right next to that, that could be interpreted as a card of a secret, as a card of uh, something you're not officiating, not announcing to anybody, or it could be a card of intuition. But it's the last card that came out, right? So I think you've got money coming in either way, and then maybe you can do something about it based on your intuition. Or maybe what you can do has something to do with like not make it uh, not making it a public information <laughs> or something like that. We'll get to that in just a second. So yes, the Knight of Pentacles is the most financially abundant knight out of all four knights. Um, let me know in the comments down below where this money is coming from <laughs> if it's not a secret. Yeah, but jokes aside, yeah, um, maybe it's um, a bonus at work. It could be a promotion. Maybe you're cashing in on something. Dividends. Uh, maybe you're becoming fully vested into something. You could be selling something. You could be retiring and cashing in on, for, on your 401k. What have you, right? The Nine of Pentacles, the first card that came out, is a, car a card of somebody who is doing very well financially, right? I think this is as a result of that Knight of Pentacles coming in. The Sun, clarifying the Nine of Pentacles, it's a card of clarity and it's the happiest card in the deck. I think you're going to be, I think your financial situation is about to get better or e even better than what you have going right now and you're going to be happy about it. All right, the Ten of Pentacles, the next card I came out, you see it's like a natural progression from nine to ten. Ten of Pentacles could be interpreted as a card of financial abundance. Right? It's also a card of uh, real estate, it's a card of a rock solid family, a rock solid commitment. Uh, or all of the above. The Wheel of Fortune clarifying that. Um, it's a, probably a start of a cycle of your life. A new cycle based on what the, this means to you. Based on the Knight of Pentacles coming in. Right? Maybe you're buying a home. Maybe you're investing or reinvesting into something. <clears throat> but uh, this is definitely a new chapter of your life. And uh, we're back to that High Priestess. The last card that came out. Again, it could be something a bit of a secretive. Something you're keeping it under wraps, uh, it could be a card of intuition, um, or maybe again all of the above, right? So yeah, I, I like this a lot for you, Libra. Let's take a look at the um, uh, let's take a look at the advice spread real quick. So here's the advice for you, Libra, for uh, the previous spread. We have the six of pentacles, the four of pentacles, the six of wands, clarified by the magician, and uh, we have the three of wands on the bottom of the deck. Well, more financial cards, right? The Six and the Four of Pentacles are all money cards. And the thing about those two cards, those two cards could be um, like polar opposites. They can be interpreted as polar completely opposite. Because the Six of Pentacles could be a card of generosity, giving money away, <laughs> donating. But the Four of Pentacles is a card of like a hoarder. Or I often um, refer to the Four of Pentacles as a savings account card. Alright, so what, whatever you have coming your way, maybe donate some of it for the tax purposes <laughs> or because you're such a good, kind person, donate some of it, right? Uh, but keep, uh, keep the rest of it, right? The Fourth Pentacles is a card of, like I said, a hoarder. So don't spend it all in one place. Save some of it, maybe reinvest some of it, right? So you got both going there. 
and uh, then we have the six of ones clarified by the magician, right? Um, the magician is a card of manifestation, and it's also a card of taking action, all right? The magician is a very creative card, okay? And uh, the six of ones is a card of victory, success. It's a card of um, being recognized. It's a card of being promoted. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. So, um, in terms of from the uh, from the advice perspective, like I said, donate some of it, spend some of it, but uh, also save some of it, right? Maybe with those remaining two cards, the six of ones and the magician, do something good. I think maybe educate yourself, spend some some of the money on education, right? Um, maybe invest into like some kind of a new project, startup companies, or what have you. Okay, so don't just sit on the money and be happy about it, right? Do something with it that will make you feel good about yourself with that six of ones and the magician. All right, those are the magician is an action taking card, so maybe you can do something with it with that money, right? Invest it into yourself, invest into your own education, um, do something with it. Um, this is the best I can uh, describe it because it will resonate for all of you, differently for all of you, depending what you're into, de depending on your interest and things like that, right? I hope this makes sense, Libra. But uh, yeah, let's move on to spread number three real quick. Here's the next good thing that will happen to you, Libra, that will at least put a smile on your face. We have the Three of Cups, clarified by the King of Cups. We have the Ace of Pentacles, we have the Empress. And uh, we have the Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. We also have a Taurus on the table. Um, so this King of Cups, all the way to your left. This could be somebody who is already in your life. Or maybe a new person you're about to, to meet. All right? So the King of Cups could be a, um, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Or somebody with a lot of water in their chart. And uh, they're clarifying the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is a card of a reunion or a card of a celebration. So I do think there's some sort of a celebration coming up, or perhaps you ever just met this person. The Hierophant um, on the bottom of the deck is a Taurus Major Arcana card. We're still in a Taurus birthday season. Perhaps you just met this person at a Taurus birthday party. All right, um, or you could have, um, or you're about to <laughs> meet this person at a Taurus birthday party. But, um, you know, the Hierophant could be interpreted so many, many different ways, right? One of them is a Taurus, a major arcana card. Another one could be something religious. Perhaps you just recently met this person at a religious holiday, right? Um, for others of you, it could have been like bat baptizing of a child, or uh, the Hierophant could be a card of like education. Right, you could have met this person in a class, um, or you could have met this person at some sort of a formal or official event, right? Because uh, the hierophant could be a card of something formal and official, all right? And but it had something to do with the three of cups, the first card that came out. It is a card of a celebration, okay? So you are either about to meet this person at some kind of a celebration, or you just met this person. And uh, the Ace of Pentacles in the middle is what's coming your way, all right? So this King of Cups is not going to take their sweet time. No, quite the opposite. If this is somebody who is already in your life, they could offer you to take it to the next level with that Ace of Pentacles, because the Ace of Pentacles is no joke, right? You see, we don't have any pages on the table. We don't have any... Knights on the table. We're, they're coming in. They're rolling out the big guns. That Ace of Pentacles. If this is somebody who is already in your life, yeah, they're gonna be. They will want to take it to the next level with you. If it's a new person, they're not gonna waste any of your time. They're they're just. They will make sure you understand they're serious about you. Because there is a pathway in the right bottom corner of that Ace of Pentacles. This is a pathway to new life, to the next level with this uh, King of Cups. Uh, the Ace of Pentacles, to me personally, is the Ace of all Aces. I don't mean to belittle the remaining three aces, <laughs> but the Ace of Pentacles is like a bundle, it's like a package. All aces combined into one, and that's why it often comes through as a marriage proposal card. All right? And the Empress right next to the deck, that's you. That's one of your major arcana cards, Libra. And uh, the Empress is somebody who is treated accordingly. Everybody knows who the Empress is, right? The Empress is somebody who is loved, cherished, 
cherished, uh, put up on a pedestal, the Empress often comes through is, as either an existing um, mother figure <laughs> or a future mother figure or an existing sp spouse figure or um, a new spouse figure, a future spouse figure. So yeah, this is something awesome. Libra. This King of Cups is not playing. They're not playing around. They're not fooling around. They're, they mean it. They do want to get serious with you, like as soon as possible. Alright, so um, yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Libra, for this reading, for this time period. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also comment and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Libra, have an amazing the rest of May.